Positive economic news tonight. Canatel Steel announces expansion plans in Botetourt County. The company plans to create 38 new positions and invest close to one and a half million dollars. This is one of the five jobs announcements in 2016 for Botetourt County alone. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson explains what this latest announcement means for the local workforce and what lies ahead in 2017. Soon, more employees will be working here at Canatel Steel USA. This facility will employ over 100 people. State and local leaders announced plans for the Botetourt County Company to invest $1.5 million and create 38 jobs. Plant supervisor Burt Manis was one of the first people hired when the company opened here in 2010. Manis says that the structural steel manufacturer is now looking to hire welders and fitters to fill these new positions. They need to be able to read the blueprints and do the welding themselves. Staff at the Roanoke Regional Partnership say this is another sign employment is growing in the Roanoke region. 2016 has been a great year for the Roanoke region in terms of in attracting business investment as well as new jobs. I think it's about 1,500 total new jobs that have been created from 2015 to 2016. In an effort to have qualified workers to fill the jobs, area schools are honing in on the needs of businesses. Botetourt Technical has been working with the kids and they are teaching them how to read blueprints, how to read a tape measure. That's something that's not taught in school anymore. Virginia Western Community College, Dabney Lancaster Community College, those are another two really powerful institutions that can bring their resources to bear to make sure that we do have work force or currency moving forward. And with a balance of existing businesses like this one expanding and new companies like Elder Corporation and Deschutes Brewery announcing jobs in 2016, economic development officials forecast a bright future for the Roanoke region. In Botetourt, Bree Jackson, WSLS 2.